track, the men's point race. And in the end, the 40-kilometer race went right to the wire. And after this next sprint, there'll be just one more to go, and it'll be double points then. Ryder going away. Perk. Couldn't be much tighter than that, could it? Lenaris with the one-point advantage over the next three. The next sprint is going to be a cliffhanger. Perk of France is the man that has gone clear. He's a lap down in the race, so it doesn't matter. The five points will not affect the overall positions of the front riders. It is really a sensational points race, this. It's getting very, very tense. 12 laps to go. Perk is the man clear on the front of the field. It is McCrory of Australia. Gilmore is next, formerly in Australia, now Belgium. Stoker is sitting in the wheel of Gilmore. Linares is going to come up and join them. McCrory's at the front. Perk is out in front. It looks like he's going to take the five, but behind, that's where the race is happening. Here we go. Perk is the man of France off the front for the five, but this is the problem. Oh, it's going to get... It's going to get even worse because Ijima of Japan is going to come over the top and take valuable points away from them. Oh, but Lenaris was there. I think Lenaris got third. So the third spot will give him two points, and that would take his tally to 19, and that's going to be useful. We just wait to see the other places because there's one sprint remaining, and it is going to be double points. This is a clip after a points race. Here we go. Perk gets the five. Ijima takes the... Three, Lenardis to two, I can't split the others, it looks like Gilmore and Stoke have got the others, extremely close, so Lenardis is leading with 19, Stoke is second, Stoke have got that ahead of Gilmore, now then the situation now is that Lenardis is leading with 19, Stoke is second with 17, and Pourchet and Gilmore are tying with 16 points for the bronze medal, there's one sprint to go, double points and that will be 10 6 4 and 2 and there's an attack on here this is Brekia of Denmark the Spaniard will be pleased about this because it's taking the heat off him and also away is Catholic of the Czech Republic so if these two stay away that means the 10 points and the six points have gone it'll just be the four and the two remaining so if Stoker could grab the four, if it remains the way it is on the track, and then Aris didn't get any, then he would take the gold medal. This really is critical. Martinello is sitting on the front of the main field. He's not very keen to wind it up. Stoker of Austria is now starting to come to the head of the peloton. He realises just how critical this is going to be. Five laps to go. This is Brekia of Denmark. And then behind Brekia for the Czech Republic is Kadlec. And the main field, I'm just looking to see who is on the head here as they come into the finishing straight. It's Germany now, right on the head. So that is Wiesfeldy. Well, he's got no points, he's not a danger, but I'll tell you what, Brekia is in the same straight as the field now. Brekia could gain a lap. This is incredible, he's got 10 points, no, he won't dislodge any of the leading four. So it's Brekia at the front, and the Czech Republic rider's going to be now swept up, two laps to go. Brekia's going to get the 10, but it's behind where the medals are going to be decided. Lenaris is sitting now in second wheel. Lenaris has now come to the head of the main field. They'll get the bell next time. The field, it's the bell for Brekia here. So Brekia's going to get the 10, but that's not going to alter the situation. Rob Hales of Great Britain has decided he's going to have a go in the last sprint as well, and the crowd are loving it. Hales comes over the top, but he'll pick up the six points if he gets this. Then it's Carnet coming through, and also Courtesier, and underneath Gilmore to Belgium. So this is incredibly tense on the line. Oh. Well, fourth place for Gilmore in that final sprint, which means he will get two points. Add the two onto the 16 that he'd already got, and that will lift him up into the silver medal position, if my calculations are correct. But that's one point shy of Lenares, the Spaniard, which means that the man from Spain, Juan Lenares, will win his third world title at this discipline. What a ride by him. Well, that was Spain's only gold medal at the World Championships. Silver went to Belgium and the bronze to Austria. And the final medal table looked like this with Germany at the top.
I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the World Track Cycling Championships from Manchester.